with Steve Buell, a 40 year school teacher and a member of Oregon SOS. These are our recommendations. Oregon's 560,000 school children and youth cannot afford another year waiting in overcrowded classes while contracted technocrats continue their quest for more elegant models and trajectories of trajectories, projections of trajectories. In the interest of our children's future, here is what we ask of you. One, convince the legislature to take steps in this next session to begin securing adequate and equitable funding for a comprehensive, quality public education. Ask them to eliminate over time the QEM's defined current three billion funding gap. To those who say it can't be done, ask them to consider the newest national study of school funding by the Rutgers University Education Law Center. In that, Oregon received a grade of F based on an analysis of the relationship between our state's economic productivity and our low level of funding for education. Two, reject the increasingly corporate dominated efforts to lobby for more testing, more technology, more data gathering, more privatization, and more teacher bashing, simply to make the system more efficient. Three, declare a moratorium on using test scores to make any high stakes decisions, such as school or teacher evaluations, school or district labeling, or for determining funding. Take steps to minimize the negative aspects of the out of control testing which narrows the curriculum and promotes teaching to the test. Four, take real action to increase state support to expand wraparound health and social service programs designed to help children and their families remove poverty's barriers to learning. Forest Grove has a nice example of how this can work. So you just talk to Dr. Curtis and you know how kind of to do it. Five, abandon top-down strategies like achievement compacts. Make a clear policy commitment to local control and seek the voice of ordinary citizens. School problems are best solved by local citizens and educators. School problems. Smart, tight, loose state education policies will only emerge from serious engagement of our communities, not from technocrats building more untried models which only profit consultants and corporations. Sixth and last, loudly lobby the federal government to end high stakes testing, competition for school funding, programs that profit someone else's corporations instead of our children, the attack on teachers, and federal efforts to make schools uniform, such as the Common Core. Thank you for listening to the opinions of Oregon Save Our Schools. We are always willing to work with you to improve education in Oregon. And you have copies of the written testimony and footnotes citing the data sources that we use. We encourage you to look at those, particularly some of the sources about the right and wrong drivers for education reform. Thank you very much.